Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. We've been talking about new beginnings in the tractor world, and no doubt for the Ford tractor folks, the introduction of the 8N Ford was a new beginning and a turning point for that company in terms of tractors. And Steve Parker from Muhammad, Illinois, you have a Ford 8N that is far from ordinary. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this one. Well, it's to say it's kind of unusual. Uh, not in it's anything special, it's just a lot of unusual equipment that happens to be put onto one tractor. And uh, it came about quite by accident, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I have accumulated parts and pieces and stuff from, I guess, four or five different states, and it's attracted a lot of attention. So tell us, tell us what year this 8N Ford is and uh, give us an idea of some of the things you've added onto it. Okay, well, first of all, the, uh, the basic tractor is just a straight old 8N. It's a 1950 model. And uh, of course I tore it completely apart and rebuilt it and repainted it. But then uh, the components that I've got on it are, uh, first of all, it's quite obvious that it's got a steel cab on it. That in itself is unusual. I think I know where there's uh, a total of two of these steel cabs. And uh, that was something that I found in the state of Ohio. Then the other thing that I added to it is a, a set of tracks here that uh, are actually bombardier tracks. Found those in the state of Wisconsin one time. We used a uh, frame for a uh, dozer blade the dozer blade and the V-snow plow that you'll see in a second uh, interchange on the frame. And uh, I found it in Illinois. And then the uh, V-snow plow, there's not a lot of them around. Uh, they're not extremely rare, I guess, but uh, just a little bit unusual. And I found that in the state of Minnesota. The cab, the tracks, the snow plow, are these things that Ford actually manufactured as features that you could add on? That's correct. They were all dealer uh, available and installable, uh, or you could put them on yourself, but uh, basically I think most of the time the, the dealer did the work. But uh, Steve, tell us a little bit more about that steel cab. You said there's only two of those in existence? Well, I won't say that there's only two in existence, but I've only seen two of them. Uh, and uh, the first one I told you I found in Ohio, and I just bought it on a whim. A friend of mine in the Ford business said, well, you need this. And I said, well, I do maybe, but I don't know what for, but I bought it. And then probably one of our most uh, uh, well-known Ford collectors, Palmer Fossum, who is in uh, Minnesota, uh, had found one in my back door, right in Illinois someplace. And he found that after I found mine. And to date, that's the only two that I know of. Steve's Ford is one smooth driving tractor. Even so, Steve is more than happy to stand back with his grandkids, admire the Ford's good looks, and let his son do the driving, especially inside that cramped cab on a warm summer day. It was pretty warm out there in the parade today. And that, that cab's not like these today. It doesn't have air conditioning in it. Or it doesn't have a heater in the winter either. And what about the winter time? How does this Dearborn snowplow do for you and the, the little 8N tractor in terms of keeping those uh, lanes clear? Well, actually, I've broken it out one time a couple of years, well, it's been about four years ago to actually open up the subdivision that I lived in. But it works extremely well. And one of the things that's kind of interesting about it in the calendar this year is that it, it's pictured working in the snow. And that's a true scene. There's a lot of guys that like red tractors, a lot of guys that like green ones. What is it about Fords that uh, makes you think that they're right up there, if not maybe a notch above? Well, uh, I guess that uh, early as a youngster, uh, Ford tractor was the first tractor that I happened to drive. I've operated other ones and uh, just always had kind of a soft spot in my heart for the the Ford tractor. And how does it feel to have this Ford and yourself as members of the Classic Tractor Calendar Club? 
Well, John Harvey's done a great job, and uh, and uh, when he coined the phrase "classic tractor fever," uh, that that best describes it. I mean, uh, it's just something that gets in your blood. Truly, the the iron, if you will, uh, is what uh, makes it happen and draws us together. But it's the people that we get acquainted with and. Uh, the shows like what we're at here today, uh, that's what it's all about. Meet old friends and uh, discuss tractors and everything else. Your 8N Ford is special. It's got a lot of features to it. What is it that you like best about this one? Well, the uniqueness of it. Uh, I've just never seen anything quite like it. I've seen some with V plows on. I've seen some with the tracks on never seen one uh, with the cab on, but all of them put together, it's just uh, a unique piece. That's the best way to describe it. All right, that's Steve Parker from Muhammad, Illinois. He's got a case of classic Ford fever.